Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to be loaded from top to bottom with black winter truffles. And what better recipe to do it with than pizza. So with that said, let's dive into the recipe. Okay, so the first thing on the agenda is the truffle dough because it takes some time to rise. So in a mixing bowl, preferably the one you'll be using in your stand mixer, add in the warm water, milk, olive oil, truffle honey if you have it. If not, regular honey will do. Uh, then continue with a few drops of white truffle oil and finally the dry active yeast. Give this a good mix, then allow it to ferment or bubble up for about 20 minutes. Once it's all bubbly and beautiful, you're gonna add in a pinch of salt and the flour and using a hook attachment, mix on medium speed for about 10 minutes or until the dough is very elastic and just slightly sticky. Once the dough is finished in the mixer, you're gonna knead it for another five minutes on a floured cutting board, then put it into a bowl that's coated in oil, then cover it with plastic and let it sit for about 45 minutes or until it doubles in size. Um, leaving this in a warm place will definitely speed up this process a bit. While you're waiting for the dough to rise, it's time to make the truffle bechamel. So here I've already started a roux with some onions that were sweated in butter. Then I added uh, the all-purpose flour until it became this sort of creamy paste consistency that you see before you. I'm always making sure to constantly stir to avoid lumps, mind you. Uh, but next you want to heat this mixture on low heat for another minute or so to cook the flour. Then add in the milk a little at a time while again, constantly maintaining a steady stirring motion until all the milk is added and distributed evenly. When the bechamel is done, add in some white truffle oil, and then a generous handful of Parmesan, and finally a large grating of black winter truffles straight into the sauce. Uh, then you're gonna give this a good stir while it's simmering, then turn the heat off and set it aside to roll out the dough. As a side note for this sauce, uh, just make sure you cover the top with a lid or a sheet of plastic film just to prevent it from developing a skin. Now that the sauce is done, uncover the proofed dough and give a good dusting of flour to your working space. Pinch off a piece of dough that's slightly larger than the size of your fist and begin to roll and stretch it out until it's about 14 to 16 inches across roughly. Uh, then gently lay it down on a transfer board that's coated in a 50-50 blend of cornmeal and semolina and then you can start to build out the pizza. Okay, so first down, of course, will be the truffle bechamel sauce. You're just looking for an even spread of the sauce that's almost touching the edges. Um, and next up is the baby spinach. And the reason I chose to put this on this particular pizza is because I really think it adds a lot to truffles because spinach soaks up a lot of flavor and gives off a really nice clean finish. Uh, so I feel like they meld really well together. Um, since this is a truffle pizza, you're going to add another generous shaving of black truffle for good measure, and then you can finish it with a handful or two of mozzarella cheese. 
Bake this in a 450 to 500 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 to 20 minutes on a pizza stone, preferably. Uh, you'll know it's done when the cheese and crust have really good caramelization spots. Sometimes even a little charring is nice too. But once the pizza is done, the final layering of sliced black truffles to finish with a little Parmesan cheese, and that is it, a black winter truffle pizza. All right, so the um, truffle pizza is done. This looks fantastic. Uh, I'm very excited about it. As you can tell, half of it's already gone. <laughs> so uh, my wife has been nibbling on it. I ate a piece. And um, I have to give a big shout out to Celine LeBon uh, from Gourmet Attitude. She sent me these beautiful truffles um, from Australia. I believe these are black winter truffles from Australia. And they're just unbelievable, very comparable to French truffles. And um, they, they kind of have a little bit different feel to them, but they're beautiful. The marbling's great on them. They have some beautiful like white little veins running through them, no holes. Um, it's just, they're fantastic truffles. So again, I have to thank Celine LeBomp. She's just the truffle lady on the East Coast. I think she's out of uh, New York and she just supplies some amazing truffles to the restaurant community out there and out here in LA. And so I connected with her a while back. So she, she sent me these out just to play around with and pizza kind of came to mind. So <laughs> I'm gonna taste this um, with you guys and kind of run through the flavors. Uh, so let me dive in. As you can tell, it's like a very thin crust um, pizza. I like my pizzas fairly thin, not too thick and doughy, but let me taste it. Mm. So right away you get really creamy truffle flavor from that sauce, that beautiful like cheesy bechamel. And then when you have a piece of the truffle, that fresh shaved truffle, very earthy, has a beautiful almost like roasted mushroom flavor to it, but it's raw. Um, so this has a very uh, mature flavor to it um, rather than like, you know, a shiitake or creamy type mushroom if you guys are unfamiliar with truffles. Just a beautiful flavor from the earth. Mm. The spinach is great too. It's kind of a nice buffer. Adds a little bit of color to what's going on. Plus it's really tender. It adds kind of a nice balance of, uh, you know, freshness to it so it's not so cheesy. Beautiful flavors for this pizza. It's a very rich pizza because of that cream sauce, truffles, mozzarella. It's a very engineered pizza for truffles. So kind of want to capitalize on that buttery, rich creaminess. The dough is great too. Just a little bit of salinity to it, but it, it has a nice stark contrast between, you know, a well-balanced kind of neutral dough to the very flavorful sauce, truffles, and a lot going on out here too. So it's a lot of truffle in this, which is great. Um, I would say this pizza, I don't even know what it would cost. Maybe a hundred bucks, something like that, because the truffles are pretty expensive. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you guys liked it. Comment down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. Make sure you check my description box for uh, equipment links and ingredient lists. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.